what we're going to be doing here, we're going to show you guys how to do a plaited double, okay? Now, when we're running a length of plaited double, if we're running 10 kilo line class or less, you're entitled to 15 foot of a leader and then 5 foot of an actual double. If you're rigging above 10 kilo line class, your double can be up to 10 foot in length and your leader material 30 foot in length. This guy is 15 kilo line class here, but we're going to run um, at about, uh, about 5 foot of a double just here. So your tag is all fully spooled up, you get your tag end running down through your rod. So you put it into free spool, pull your line off. Now when you guys are doing this yourself, do it outdoors on the back deck of your game boat, sitting in your rod holder. Okay, Just to show you guys here, it's a little bit tricky to get the lighting right, so we're going to do it indoors for you just here. So we run our line off, we're going to put our rod in our rod holder per se. The trick here is to keep everything tight and keep your fingers coordinated. So we get our tag end, which is this guy here. We bring it back up, lay it across our main line here, giving ourselves about sort of eight, nine, ten inches to work with. We form a cross, get our tag end, bring it around over here, and back to the middle just here. You'll now see we've got three strands and a joint. What we do, we put our index finger and thumb for our right hand on the joint and we bring the far left one over across and back to the middle here. We then pull our index thumb and finger off the joint here and then run our other index finger and thumb on the joint and go from the right back across to the middle. Okay, so we start our plat left to right, over the top, back to the middle, right to left, over the top, back to the middle and you will see our plat begin to form, okay, just here. So the trick is keep it tight, keep your fingers coordinated, index finger and thumb on here, right to left, left to right. Now, with the length of your actual plat, this is 15 kilo line, so our actual plat will run about an inch, inch and a half of an actual plat, okay, an inch and a half, probably upwards to an inch and three quarters actually. We continue to plat it in, work it in, right to left, left to right. Whole trick here is to say get your fingers coordinated. Now, we've got a length of our plat. To finish it off, what we actually do, we bring our tag end here, the loose end, back to the center. We've got our index finger and thumb on the joint just here. We then get our tag end, we'll lay it back up along the main line, squeezing it in here between your index finger and your thumb. You'll see this forms a little loop in the center. This is actually your single strand double back on itself. So continue to treat it as a single strand and then bring the right one over that little double back to the middle. Pinch the joint again with your index finger and thumb, left to right, your single strands and continue to treat that little double as a single strand right to left. So we plat it in about nine to a dozen more turns. Continue to plat it in. To finish it off, what we do, we bring our little loop out to one side and we've also got our main double just here. We then get our main double, get the tail end of our main double, we go through our little double just here and we pull the whole lot through pull our main double all the way through okay we've now got our tag end up here if we grab our tag end with our teeth and pull it tight it will lock this guy into place pull it good and tight and that's how you finish it off it's sitting tight right there we then get our cutters or our scissors and we snig off tag end just there good and tight. You've now got your single strand of 15 kilo, you've got your actual plat and you've got your double strand of 15 kilo just here. As I say about five foot of that, we're going to run that down to our snap swivel which I'll show you guys next. But that is how you do a platted double.